Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and first of all an apology I had a doctor appointment yesterday totally forgot so as you know there was not a video yesterday but there is one today and I've got a tiny little haul and it is a tiny little haul and I thought I'd show you what I got and ha let's have a small little demo with it so they did come in bags and uh, yes there's my lovely plastic bags and I've got a one and a half inch and I've got a one inch and I've got these and these are silicone brushes and I have to tell you that I have waited they're really good quality absolutely ages and ages for AliExpress to get these in and um, I'm glad that I waited because you can pay up to you know $30 just for one of these at an art shop so it's a solid wedge of silicone and you've probably seen like the regular paint brushes and the little sort of wedge angle paint brushes you can get that have got these solid silicone tips on and I just thought it'd be fun to have a play and show you some of the reasons why I got these here brushes so let me move my wonderful little bags and I think these took about I don't know if I already said it actually about 10 days to get here which is extremely good so I'm just grabbing across my table right so i've got my scruffy mat right at the bottom and i've got some different sheets of cardstock i've scored that one i've got some uh panelisa ephemera which is gorgeous i've got a little piece of watercolor cardstock i've got a stencil i've got a, a little piece of cardstock and i've got a bigger piece and i think i've got that one actually um to sort of like tidy up my glitter so first of all let's do the stencil and um, I'm just going to go straight ahead because this might make a really nice card base actually and I can just go with a little bit and then go off the edge there I'm going to stick my stencil there and put my other stuff down now I'm kind of like as close into the camera as I can get and some of the stuff that I wanted to use are these which I love these came from Walmart and these are glycerific glues so I've got those I've got some Tim Holtz distress glitter peeled paint and I don't know if that still seals because I don't think I've used that yet and then I've got some of my favorite glitter which is the distress stickles dry glitter clear rock candy and that's a very old tub but there's not much left in it actually so I've got those and I've got one of my favorite glues that I don't think I've ever shared with you and it's a glue that's you know got fluff on the bottle <laughs> yep and it's called yes paste and if you like to do books and things like that this is without doubt hands down the best glue on the market for making mini albums and books and also another wonderful thing about this is if you get a sheet of um cling film saran wrap whatever you like to call it tape it down onto your craft table get your um oh napkins out sometimes i'll call them serviettes you know the paper ones peel all your layers off so that you're just left with the image spread down some of your yes paste pop your napkin down spread some more on top and when it's dry it will come up crisp and nice and shiny and you can also do the same thing by yes pasting down your napkins onto a sheet of cardstock and then you'll be able to cut those out and do whatever it's just wonderful wonderful paste and let me tell you when you get a tub of this size it's going to last you for many years and i don't know how heavy this is it looks like a pound or something oh it's called a pint there you go 470 mils and i'm not sure what country it's made in but it's just fantastic and maybe one of the things to, to teach you is you don't screw this lid on and off if you go round and round and round with your hands you'll you'll be going round and round forever just lift it like that and it will crack but you know you can put a piece of cling film across the top and stick your lid back on so even though it's got a, a what have you i don't know what you call that that screwy groovy bit <laughs> you can see how early it is ignore that and just 
pressure lid on and just pull it off as you need it so there you go there's a lesson with less pace net y y yes paste yeah right i am going to have another coffee in a minute so first of all let's go with a little bit of pink glitterific and i'm going to use the smaller brush and i must admit i did get the large one for doing larger projects and i think this one actually um so i've got to squeeze this down and shake it down i haven't used it for ages so bear with me while my camera rattles because you know i'm a professional yeah so i'm giving this a squeeze trying to get it all pushed down and this is another one of those things actually you need to uh to make sure that it doesn't dry out on you oh there we go so i'm able to get a little bit oh it went in and now it's gone back in and you only really need to use little bits at a time now with glitterific put your lid straight back on because it is a glue and you know it will absolutely dry out on you so i'm holding my stencil it's not fixed down and i'm just going to spread some of that through so i've got myself a little pink heart going on there and i'm going to do another one here I'm just going to push that through and if you get a little bit underneath the stencil it should kind of slightly hold it in place for you so i'm trying to do some some two-tone hearts here but it is a real pain squeezing this stuff because i just know that i don't need too much all right i've capped that off again put my hand down i'm going to put a little bit more on here because i want my heart a little bit more defined and then i'm just going to scrape that bit into there and i'm going to do gold hearts and i'm going to try and do some gold edges actually but the nice thing is if you walk away and that dries it just peels off you know you haven't got a load of dirty brushes and stuff that you've got to wash up it's really easy and of course you can apply gel paint or pastes or gesso or what have you onto um, a gel plate and and that's good too and now i've got to put my brush down again and give this one a squeeze i'm going to get a little a little bit more out here this stuff is absolutely gorgeous i love it I went mad on it a couple of years ago and um, I do try to cap it off really tightly because it's one of those products that you know it's it's quite happy to go off on you and set solid so you know it's kind of like you buy it and you must use it when you've got it I'm gonna go for another one here and I didn't clean my brush because I don't need to I'm just combining everything and then on here i've got a little bit and i'm just gonna touch it into my pink and i'm gonna have a look and see what i've got there right yeah and i've got a little bit of pink left on that one so i'm gonna squidgy that in and then you can do other things as well like i've got these and i haven't got a clue what this would look like but i've got some pearl drops and uh i don't know about you but i kind of like i go through moods of using pearl drops so i'm just running a tiny little bead of my pearl drops along there and i haven't got a clue what's going to happen here but i do know that they kind of they contain similar similar products if you know what i mean so it all dries a little bit shiny i've got a little bit of pearl drops there and put some in here and then i'm just going to go all over it and see what happens who knows but look yeah lovely get that little lump in i'm going to lift that up see how that looks Woo! isn't that nice i like that it's quite dimensional now i don't know if i've got something on there but i'm going to wipe it off but I'm just moving my stencil out of the way and I'm going to pick it up. So you can quite literally use that to force anything through your stencil. 
and I'm going to let that dry because I'm going to try and use that on a project tomorrow but I think that's really pretty so there's one thing and I am moving it right the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my yes paste and what I did was I cut a couple of pieces of craft card stock and I've also scored that one because like I say one of the things it's good for doing is making books so if you pretend that that is your book hinge right there I'm going to clean that and then I'm going to show you what to do with the yes paste so I'm just using some kitchen paper that I've got there and I've just wiped it off on there and I've got my squirty bottle and I'm just squirting it off camera and then it's going to be nice and clean and ready to go so just get my little bit of glitter off there yeah there you go you see all nice and tidy except for two little bits of glitter I'm just going to take those off there Ooh, and I've got another big blob there it's amazing what you can see in the camera sometimes I think my eyesight is so bad I probably need a microscope but you know right so first of all let's stick this and I want to get my yes paste along there now yes paste you only need to use ever such a little bit but the bond I'm going to tell you now see how much I've got there I'm going to use that along there when you get a bond with yes paste it is for life yes it is so if you want a friend for life this is what you use and I'm just going to go down there and I'm going to push it I mean obviously you know when you you're sitting in your craft room and you're taking your time and one of the things you notice as you start to work it it will become a little bit sort of like liquid you know sometimes you can put solids in your hands and the warmth of your hands will make them feel a little bit more liquid so I've got that on there And I have spread that down now I hope you can you can see that there's maybe a little bit on the edge that I've missed but I'm going to rub that off with my fingers and then of course with anything where you've scored glue whatever it is that you're gluing just before your bend line you have got a little bit of movement time on this and then just rub But I promise you this is the best glue for bookmaking that you will ever purchase now one of the recommendations with this glue when you're doing stuff like this is that you actually do leave it for 24 hours if you've ever heard of score pal tape and I know that many people have and that is the best you know if you're going to use an adhesive tape and you can afford to spend that money score pal or sukwang is the best tape that you can get this is the best glue that you can get for doing this kind of thing so if you're somebody who uses score pal and you make a lot of mistakes like you know you've stuck it down and you think oh my goodness me you know it's kind of two mils out up here than it is down here then yes paste for doing books is a great way to go because you still get some movement but you get an absolute uh, permanence you get a book binding permanence and you can book binds with this stuff and as I said what you can do in napkins is absolutely wonderful but um, I've got a little bit of ephemera here I'm uh, just gonna grab this and I'm trying to be as quick as I can because you know me I get carried away and I start talking so if I decide for example that I'm gonna have that that lovely I think it's a lemon it's either a lemon or a grapefruit and uh, I pop that there so I want to stick that down there and now I'm going to get a lot more yes paste and as I said remember it will go liquid on you so scrape a bit up that might be enough actually what I've got there press my lid back down and I'm just going to go down here 
I'm going to smear it on and spread it in. And as I said, as you work it, it starts to look quite moist. But I'm so happy to have these brushes because a bristle brush and yes paste is um, an absolute nightmare. That's all I'm going to say. So if I want to go down there. So I'm just squeezing that back and forth, getting some coverage. And I don't need to go completely to the edge because there's something that I want to do and I want it to look a little bit rough and I haven't got a clue how it's going to turn out. So there is my yes paste and you can see I've still got bits on the side. And because it's um it's so thick you get no warping on your paper. So you know you can use thinner pieces of paper, you can use tissue, you can use napkin whatever it is that you want to use now I don't even know if that's even and as this is only like a little demo thing I'm not going to worry about it but that has gone down that paper will not buckle it will not bend it won't warp and it won't ripple and so now I'm going to use this on my bits that I've got left and that is what I wanted this for so I'm just going to pick this up I'm going to see what I get. So now I have heard people say that there's not a lot of uh, clues that will glue this down. So this is a, a quick test. And I also want to blend it with some of this because this is my favourite. So let's see what kind of pretties we get. And then I'm just going to mingle all that together. I think I've got that covered pretty much but you can use yes paste through a stencil and uh, you know just make sure that you wash it afterwards Ooh, isn't that pretty and then just keep shoving it back onto the edges give it a little pat down and then tap it off Ooh, isn't that nice I like that It's a very pretty combination together actually and you will find that there are little bits that you've missed and you can just go in and tap them and you can do the same thing like this a patterned uh, doodah and do it through a stencil and that actually feels dry to the touch now I'm just rubbing it and I won't actually waste that glitter I'll just put it into a little pot where I can use it somewhere else so give that a tickle and dust it off and then my image is free of glitter but it will be once it's dry isn't that nice but this here after 24 hours imagine you've just made yourself a little book cover that is absolutely permanent and I will come back and I'll try and rip it off for you tomorrow just to show you so those were my, my tiny little haul and some of the things that I'm going to get up to with those silicon brushes that I'm not going to have to wash, which is absolutely awesome. So I can just let that yes paste dry on there and then just peel it off. Or if I want to, I can go and wash it. It's entirely up to me. But that's what I wanted to share with you. My lovely brushes and I finally got them. So I thank you so much for joining me today. And I will be up with more from Panalisa tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me. Have an awesome day. And as usual, all links below. Bye.